And new details tonight involving a group of Cuban migrants that were in a standoff with the Coast Guard at a lighthouse. CBS 4's Donna Rapato is live in Miami with more. And Donna, you spoke to some of their relatives. I did. They are here at the offices of Democracy Movement in Little Havana, where they anxiously and nervously await for the government to make its decision and find out the fate of their relatives. Take a look. Nelly Lopez says she is nervous as she anxiously awaits news about her niece's husband, Alexi Leva. She's sure Leva is one of the 19 Cuban migrants who swam from their homemade boat to this lighthouse five miles off of Marathon Key Friday after seeing him in this video. He is the one in the white long sleeve shirt. The migrants were trying to avoid the U.S. Coast Guard and make it to U.S. land. The question now is reaching the lighthouse, which is in U.S. waters, considered making it to shore in the wet foot, dry foot policy. Democracy movement leader Ramon Saul Sanchez believes it is. The attorney is working uh, right now uh, together with other attorneys and the relatives here, some of them, uh, to see if we can present an injunction order as soon as possible or some kind of uh, legal recourse to uh, stop the repatriation while uh, the uh, court can decide whether these people uh, are, were dry foot because they were in a structure that is part of the United States. The migrants remain on the Coast Guard cutter at sea just miles from the Florida Keys, their status in limbo. There is precedent here. A similar situation happened 10 years ago when a group of Cuban migrants made it to the old seven-mile bridge just below Marathon Key. In that case, they were sent back to Cuba because officials said making it to the bridge column in the water was not the same as making it to shore. Then, after going back to Cuba, a judge ended up reversing that decision. And the Coast Guard tells us that decision could take up to a few days, so it could come at any time. These folks getting ready to fight back if it's not what they look to hear. We're live in Little Havana, Donna Rapato, CBS 4 News.